Hey, welcome back, guys. It's uh, 7.38 p.m. on August 5th. And uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to do a follow-up to my a video for Saratoga today. Uh, if, if those who have saw, seen it, I put a video out there uh, handicapping the early pick five. Well, I kind of fell on my face uh, in, like, probably three of the five races. But really, what, the reason I wanted to put this video together to is really to talk about not so much... Uh, the methods here but really wagering wisely if you wager wisely and you maintain a budget uh, not only for the day but for the for each race uh, it's not difficult to end up coming out ahead when you when, when things look bleak and like I said I went and I spent uh, $48 total on two pick five tickets and I think I got maybe three out of five on one ticket and two out of five on another but then I ended up you know, I had the cash to continue playing, and then I ended up getting hot by the seventh race. And the seventh race uh, is really what was pretty much my cash cow here. And I'm just going to just jump right to the payouts here. In my seventh race, I had a $5.40, 50 cent Superfecta, or 10 cent Superfecta. Um, that only cost me $5.40, and it returned $92. And then the trifecta, I had a 50 cent try that cost me six bucks, and I got $87 on that. So, I mean, I got $179, $180, uh, risking $11.40 on these two bets. But then I also had a, th I went deeper than I should have in this pick four, um, simply because I had the three and four originally in the seventh race. And the three and the four, or the three ended up scratching out of the race. So then I readjusted things on the on my grid, and then it was four and a five. And then I was talking to a friend of mine who 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 plays Saratoga a lot, and he was telling me you know keep an eye out for the two. And I went and you know I listened to that advice, and I ended up going a deeper ticket than I wanted to, and that ticket cost me I think it was thirty six thirty six dollars. I went two four five, and I was also talked into throwing the one and the nine. In the second leg and the day that I was having I said you know what maybe I should take someone else's advice because uh, things didn't go very well for me in that in that in the early pick five so you know I went and uh, I threw the the nine in there and the nine shows up for me and the one shows up as a possible pace setter so I said you know what I'll throw that in there and my original thought was only going to be these four horses here um, actually these five horses one Five, six, eight, nine. I think I might have added one more to that ticket. Again, I'm flipping back and forth here, so it's tough for me to stay on track with that. But let me go back here. Yeah, I threw the three in there. Okay, but I didn't need to. The five I singled. That was Golden Pal. Golden Pal uh, won easily. No, actually, he didn't win it easily. Um, it, that was where I hit that trifecta. The six horse went off at eleven to one, and the seven horse. Thankfully, I went all in the last leg of that try that paid ninety-two dollars. Or uh, what was it, seventy some dollars for fifty cents? The seven finished third, and the seven I had tossed, but I used all in my last leg. But it actually came out five six that race, and Golden Pal the five won by a neck, and the six horse, my target horse here, uh, ran a very good race at eleven to one. But I was able to get the single there, and then four deep in the final race. I went with the four horses that showed up on both sides of my grid, three, four, six, and the seven. And the six turned out to be my top choice, my target of the race. Actually won the race at seven to two. And again, paying, getting me back $64 on a $36 bet. But really what I could have done is originally just, when the three scratched out, I could have left a four in there and just left it as a single. And then not through the five, not through the three in there. So I would have had a five by four twenty. I would have had a ten dollar ticket, and would have made a fifty four dollar profit instead of a, you know, a twenty eight dollar profit. But really, the moral of this story is, there's two. One, if you play wisely and you and you stick to a budget per race and per day or per card, however you want to do it, you stay within it. It's not difficult to come out ahead in the end. Okay, I, I set a budget of a um, hundred and I think it was one hundred and twenty-five dollars. I wanted to play on the entire card today, 
And I ended up getting that, you know, that and then some back just in that seventh race alone. And the other reason why is because it's not about how many races you hit. It's about hitting that one race or two races that's going to put you ahead for the day. But the problem is people are spending playing $5 trifectas. That's costing them $150 for just to try. You know, they're trying to strike it rich in one race instead of trying to piece it together and find that one race that's your cash cow for the day that pays you and gives you that money to play either later on or the next day without having to make a deposit in your ADW again. Okay? So that's all I had for you today. And uh, until next time, I may be putting a video out later on for Saratoga tomorrow. And I'm probably just going to use the matrix methods tomorrow, t tonight when I'm handicapping because I don't have a lot of time. And I'll throw a video together for maybe for the early pick five again tomorrow or maybe the late pick four that I just uh, hit today. Okay? Thank you.